Hey, Alan Calgill here, and I am so excited that Gorea and Lawrence have asked me to come on in and do some training on your evening meeting this month on Thursday the 27th. In fact, let's start the training right now. Uh, I got, uh, I'll kind of give you a little taste of what I'm going to go through that night. I'm going to show you how I use private money and how you could too. This property here, lady called me up. And she says, are you one of the We Buy Houses guys? I said, yes, I am. She said, well, I've uh, bought this house nine months ago, and uh, I never bothered to make any payments. Um, and now, for some reason, the bank wants it back. That's exactly what she said. And so uh, she said, now they, they want to, uh, they've, they've really discounted this thing. I can't believe I'm way lower than what I ever paid for it. Uh, as long as somebody can pay it off by the end of the month. Well, the key is the end of the month was five days away. So if you got private money, you can pull the trigger and do that. I went over and took a look at the property. I thought I'd, I could get some money out of it. I went, uh, went ahead and got a private lender to, to fund it. And Friday, I own this. She called me on a Monday, Friday, same week I own this property. And I walked out of closing on a Friday on a, on a deal I never even knew about when I rolled out of bed Monday. But I put $17,045 in my bank. How would you like to borrow money the day that you buy the property? That's what I do in every single deal. And I want you to think about that because we're taught in this business that we earn our money we, when we negotiate the deal, but you physically don't get your money until you sell the property. In my world, I get it on both ends, and you should too. I call it contingency money. And my profit is $31,945 once I sold the property. So pretty good deal I didn't even have to negotiate on, huh? And landlords, I've got a cookie cutter for you. I think you're going you're gonna to love this. You buy the property with private money. You fix it with private money. You refinance it. Now there you can use a lending institution. Uh, you can use a, another private lender and structure it different and amortize the loan, however you want to do it. And then you uh, rent it. Now how many uh, private lenders do you need to do that business? One or two. And you got a cookie cutter that you can build an empire out of. And I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, hey, Alan. You know, why would somebody loan me money? I, I burnt their garage down when I was a kid. You know, why would, they, why would they loan me? Look, they need you worse than you need them. You are no longer begging for money after meeting me this week, at the end of this month. You ask them, where else can they get 8% secured by a mortgage? They'll jump for joy. Think about the bank CD rates. They're paying next to nothing right now. All they have to do is write a check and set back and wait for a bigger check. It's the American dream for those folks. I want you to imagine the day that you personally will no longer be begging for money because you've got a, a, a bank of private lenders loaning you money. The benefits of private lenders is unlimited funds. You can't touch at all. There's so much money out there to be had if you just know how to go after it. Speed to buy, like I just showed you there, I bought within a week. Cash flow, you can borrow extra. I call it contingency money. And there's no monthly payments if you so desire. Uh, I, I'll show you three ways at the meeting how I uh, how I pay the lender back. And you get to make the rules. There's no credit checks. It saves you money. You make more money. It's flexible. I pay my private lenders on the 15th of the month because sometimes tenants pay late on the 1st. And rather than try to retrain them, I just set it up on the 15th. My lender gives me a little grace period there to have the, the uh, tenant get the money in. And you do deals you couldn't do any other way. Some of your profit, you get it when you buy. Like I showed you, it's cheaper than having a partner, and that's for sure. In fact, I'll talk about that more at the meeting. You can fund the purchase of defaulted paper, and you could be a hard money lender if you want to. And that would be an additional stream of income. You know, I feel it's the best, easiest, cheapest, and safest way, and I'll, I'll go through that. It's the best because it puts you in control of your financing. You are not in control if you're financing your deals any other way. It fits with all types of real estate deals. You do deals that banks and hard money lenders will refuse. That means you lose. The ability to pool funds to amass millions and there is no monthly payments. It's the easiest because it's not a lot of work. You learn the techniques one time and use it for a lifetime. Funds show up with just a phone call and you have an army of lenders begging you to take their money, and you are no longer begging for money after meeting me and getting some training. It's the cheapest because you avoid hard money lender fees. You avoid their padded fees. You buy a property at a discount because cash is king. And you'll be able to close deals because the most expensive funding you will ever, ever have is the day you can't close. I want you to think about that. Think about getting to a closing with a realtor, and you can't close. You just took 
food off the realtor's table. I'll tell you what, they aren't going to want to do business with you again. It's the safest because you quit your job, you can still get funding. You got poor credit, you can still fund the deal. You can borrow extra so you don't run out of cash, and you avoid the embarrassment of losing great deals because you can't close. Can you see private lenders are the catalyst that allows you to take your real estate business to the level that you want? I believe it's important to take a realistic look at your funding option. Let's talk about banks. If you can get a loan today, there is no guarantee you're going to get a loan in the future. I've heard of banks stopping and closing the day before you close. You're not in control if you're going to a bank. Hard money lender? Well, they're just incredibly expensive. And you only got one exit strategy. you got to pay them back within a year. You're not in control. Lines of credit? I'm going to talk about one of my students at the meeting. Or he had a line of credit. What happened to them when they jerked the credit line? And creative finance, you're limited in the number of deals. Basically, you will lose out on the best deals. Wholesale, I got a safety net on wholesale deals. Safety net is private lending. If I get close to the to the date where the contract's going to expire, so I don't lose my earnest money, I go ahead and fund it with private money and then wholesale it after the fact. Your cash, well, you're limited to how much money. And when a big deal comes along, you might not be prepared to, to cover it. Maybe you're all your money's out. Now, I got a book that I sell. Sell on Amazon. It's an ebook, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to you on the workshop. I'm going to talk to you about a workshop uh, when I get to the meeting, and uh, we're, I'm coming in for the for the evening meeting, and then uh, I'm coming back for a workshop. And when and at that workshop, I'm going to I'm going to give you this this book. Everybody that shows up for the Saturday workshop. Now the meeting here is uh, Thursday, September 27th, and uh, be there. You're going to have an incredible night. You will love every minute. And you know, education is the foundation of this business. Don't miss out on one of the most important areas of real estate investing. To your wealth, and I'm looking forward to seeing you.